Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. This is part nine. We'll be talking about uh, your vents on both sides of the cabin. You got one here, one on the other side. You got another one over here, one on the other side, and a lot more. Stay tuned. Starting off with page 19 of the instructions. Building observation. The full-size pattern has been provided. See figure 121. We're talking about these guys here, these guys here. You can make them out of brass, but you'll have to buy it on your own. If you want to make the railing out of brass, use a 132nd inch diameter brass rod. There's not enough brass rods supplied in the kit, so you will need to purchase more if you want to have the railing in brass. So mine will just be out of the wood that they give to you. Right below that it says, at this point, you should primer and paint your cabin, including the deck. Uh, it runs right into Battleship Gray. This should be semicolon. Then paint the deck D1 at this time. I've already done that. The following details will be painted and then attached to the hull. That's a hull, huh? huh? How about cabin? Vent C, figure 45. Okay. 227, paint C34 and C35 white, two each. Small vents attach C34 and C35 to the side of the cabin were shown in the drawing. Well, why not just go ahead and put them on now and um, paint it? You can prime it and paint it when it's on. C34 and C35. Something that just caught my eye, C35s, they're not exactly square. So I went ahead and measured them. They're 0.505, or about that, uh, this way. And they're 0.566 this way. Just a note. 229, large vents, four needed now. Paint the vents, C38, dark gray. I'm talking about these guys here. You don't need the inside here. And uh, C38, one on each side. Then you have the one aft in that tunnel area we talked about before. Here are the two C38s. Of course, you have this one and the other one on the other side of the tunnel here. Here and here are 38s. And these are C50. And there you go. This is one of the C38s, and for the paint to look good, I always try to sand off those laser black marks, you know, in and around using 220 or 320, and then clean it up with some tack cloth. It'll look a lot better. Here are the six C38 vents inside my paint booth. Using the sticky side of the blue painter tape to lightly hold them down, a couple light coats each, primer, primer surfacer, then top coat. Yeah, it's up to the builder. If you want to go ahead and paint them now, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint mine before I put them on. And uh, it says, paint the center of C38 vents black. Before I put on the top coat, I found very good luck in using the surface primer. This is the gray surface primer by Tamiya, 180 ml. Works for me. Makes a painter out of you. Well, let's see here, guys. We have our doors on, our grab rails are in, the portholes are in, insides are painted black, the platform is done, and got the vents on the cabin, and our life rings in there, and had time to go ahead and do our pilot house in the top. And of course, painted the uh, the deck here, battleship gray. Page 21, item 267, final assembly. Cement the completed pilot house roof to the pilot house frame. The roof should overhang the back of the pilot house by three quarters of an inch. See figure 60. And that's been done. Checked it twice, went ahead and glued it on. Well, thanks, guys, for watching part nine. Part 10 will be the waterline, marking the waterline. Very interesting. Learn something new on this one.